to my brand. Starting off with my appreciation for natural white light, there's a full length mirror, great for an outfit check and to see yourself in front of the toilet bowl. There is also a baby diaper changing area. I always appreciate toilet seat covers. No bidet here, but a cup is a good alternative. Do you guys use water, toilet paper or both? It's both for me, you're nasty. You can control the water temperature which is a nice touch. And there's even a hand dryer. That's it for the toilet tour, let's head back to my seat. My KTA was not approved in time, it's been 2 days, so now I'm stuck in the airport for 22 hours. Incheon Airport has a fully equipped transfer lounge, so I'm gonna go around. There are plenty of seats and power sockets to comfortably lounge. A transfer desk is available in case you have any questions regarding a flight, which is just so convenient. Unfortunately, some facilities are closed at this moment, like the digital gym where you can work out using digital screens, a paid massage service, and a shower room. Not gonna lie, I was really looking forward to a shower, but it's closed. There is also a conducive workspace and a nap room which has plenty of snoring ASMR. I'm just glad there are all these facilities and amenities for free for our passengers who are transiting to enjoy. Shall we do a bidet check? I'm not sure if Koreans use this bidet but let's check. There's a bidet! Good one, Incheon Airport. skincare because I knew I was gonna wash my face after like a super long flight and with washing my face that means I need to apply my skincare. I think my skin could use some hydration from like 15 hours of flying. I wish I could wash my hair or at least have some dry shampoo so I don't know if the shops are still open but I think I'm a little bit hungry so I'm gonna go grab some food and look for dry shampoo. Oh my gosh, there's a wireless charging port. Look at this. It is 10 pm right now and all the shops are already closed. I don't see any convenience store, so. I think I'm just gonna be hungry. Oh, there's actually Starbucks. I got a cheese sandwich that they heated up for me and also some real tofu chip. I think I look a bit more presentable now and I have to figure out my hair situation. Right now it doesn't look so bad but it's actually pretty bad. It is now close to 8 o'clock so I'm pretty sure the convenience store are open so let's go check it out. Good morning Korea! I've arrived at 7-Eleven and I'm excited to try some famous Korean convenience store food. Here we have some gut kimbap, sandwiches and porridge. There's normal kimbap too and they look so good. These are the variety of hot bars. Here is the famous cheese sausage snack. 
and my favorite corn. A mini pack of kimchi is so cute. This is the famous banana milk, so I'm getting myself one. There's different types of buns. This is the honey butter bun and cream bun which looks really good. Maybe I'm just hungry. They even have apple pie. Now for the ice cream section, these are dipping dots, which is totally what I would eat as a child. Honey butter flavor is so popular, there's even ice cream in this flavor. And these are the drink packs where you can buy a cup of ice and just pour it in. Okay, so I've gotten my food and the first one is called Samgak Kimbap. It's very similar to the Japanese onigiri and I got it in tuna kimchi fried rice. Bloody hell. This is what happens when you do not read the instructions properly. I didn't know if I wanted a traditional tuna mayo or a tuna kimchi fried rice. Get this one guys. If you're in doubt, just get this. It's so flavorful. And next, I got a hot bar. Hot bar comes in many shapes and sizes and forms. So it can be like fish cakes, can be sausages. Basically just food that has been back in pack and you get to microwave it later. And I got this sausage in garlic flavor, I believe. But first I need to figure out how I'm gonna warm this up. I read that I'm just supposed to tear it a little and then just microwave. Mm. I think just do this. Okay. And of course, I cannot leave the convenience store without trying the Bing Ray banana milk. I believe I've tried it before, but probably just once and like very, very long time ago. This one is like the OG banana milk. I think I'm just very hungry and thirsty, but this banana milk is awesome. Oh my gosh, it's screaming. Whoa. I don't know if I did it a bit too long. I did it for one minute and it's like all... <laughs> what happened? It exploded. It's nice. I mean, it's sausage. I like that there's areas to sit at and eat. So there's the table, there's also this table, this is with the view of the tarmac. I just woke up from a half an hour nap, I was too sleepy that I KO'd. Now I'm gonna go downstairs to the Korean Traditional Cultural Experience Center just to check things out before heading to the lounge. Hey guys, right now I'm in a different lounge. It is called the Martina Lounge and this is actually a paid entrance as opposed to the regular transit lounge. This will give you access to free Wi-Fi that is specific for Martina Lounge. There's like lounge area where you can rest and relax and of course there's free flow of food. So here they have like a mixture of Asian and Western cuisines, mostly Asian I would say. There's salad and they also have desserts. There is also wine here if you want some. This is my first meal. I got jjampong which is Korean seafood pasta. I took a crab guys, I couldn't resist. Like I was thinking it's so much of a hassle but I love crab. I got one buffalo chicken, some cream steak, kimali and some fries. And here I have a bit of fruits.
they actually have like a ginseng latte. I wonder if my sister would like this, but I don't think I would. Mm. 